Today I'm making polo al mattone. This is a mattone, also known as a brick. This is polo, also known as chicken. Brick chicken. The brick, the weight, keeps the chicken thin so that it cooks evenly all the way through. It looks totally awesome. It's super easy to make. Let's do it. The first thing is we just need to make a, a, a marinade, a sauce. A capers. So just a rough chop on that, okay? I would say this is two tablespoons. Okay, so garlic. Um, great thing about a marinade like this is that you can be super rough with uh, all of your ingredient chopping because we're just trying to extract flavor. Saltiness from capers, acid from lemon, bad breath from garlic. Rosemary gives you this like woodsy flavor. It's absolutely delicious with grilled meats. So if you, if you just pull the opposite way that it grows, you see if it's growing up, if you just pull the opposite way. I mean, that is highly effective. Big flavors. Woodsy flavor from rosemary. Garlic flavor, olive oil. Lots of olive oil. Impressive, but we need intense flavoring because the chicken doesn't taste like anything. Maybe a little pepper if you want. We want the chicken to be pretty much covered. So that's gonna be your olive oil. Before you put the chicken into the marinade, very important to pull some of this out so that we can brush things with it and it doesn't have raw chicken. Okay, all right, here's our chicken. If you have a nice shallow pan like this, then you know, you know everything is gonna be evenly coated. Um, you don't have chicken sitting on top of each other. Put this in the fridge for an hour, you can leave it overnight. If you wanna just like let it mingle while you're getting other stuff prepped. What would you grill with chicken? Maybe you'd like some grilled onion. What about that? The beautiful thing about this dish is it's so freaking easy that you should have other things happening. You gotta have other things happening. So we're gonna grill, we're gonna grill these. How about a couple slices of grilled lemon? So we're gonna turn on the grill here. Lemon. Onion. Scallion. Here's our chicken. Hell yeah. Now, you're gonna put a brick on it. We're gonna take our brick, and this is gonna keep the chicken from puffing up. It's gonna keep it nice and flat so that the end cooks as fast as the middle. Since our grill is not uh, falling through, we can hit these guys here with some liquid that'll help them cook, you know, because it's getting caught in there, which is really nice. Take a peek here. Let's do a little rotation. I like flare-ups. I, I, I like the taste of fire. Brick it. Ooh, that's nice. Look at that lemon. Okay. Chicken. Now see the brick kept it nice and flat. Now, here's a, here's a trick. You take one of these rosemary leaves, you use the marinade that didn't have any raw chicken in it, pick up some of that stuff, just paint the top here. You need to keep giving it flavor. Woo! Salt that onion, scallion, Rick. Here's a burnt scallion. This is super rustic. Chicken looks phenomenal. The brick kept it super duper flat. Do something like that. Do something like that. I mean, there you have it. 
It's simple to make. You're using a brick to keep chicken flat so that it's cooked perfectly and it gets gorgeous grill marks. It's not gonna dry out because you made this awesome marinade with lemon, capers, garlic, and olive oil, which you'll proceed to brush on with rosemary leaves and look like totally badass. This just looks badass to me. And then uh, any grilled vegetables you want. I went with lemons and onions and scallions. It's a beautiful plate. You can totally do it. It's so 